Ladies, drop what you're doing right now because my man Boogie2988 is now back on the market. Or should I say Boogie988 because it looks like he dropped the two in the form of 2,000 pounds since his gastric bypass surgery. Now he's got sexy elves lining up to take pictures with him. Stop wasting your damn time and don't let this man slip away. <laughs> What's going on guys? It is Leon Lush. Welcome back to another video. Gonna be a little more mellow than usual today, just more of a, a chat about what's been going on with Boogie2988 and his divorce and this whole situation with Dr. Disrespect and his infidelity. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to take a more serious approach to this video is because four out of my last five videos either had to do with a Paul brother or a Tana Mongoose, so I figured I would just uh, cleanse my palate with something a little more down to earth and real to life to me. So Dr. Disrespect is a massive Twitch streamer. If you spend any time online or in the Twitch community at all, you probably know who he is. Uh, but recently he uploaded a stream where he was out of character and just kind of broke down and uh, admitted to cheating on his wife, basically, and that he was gonna take a little time off to try and work on his family. He's got a beautiful child, beautiful wife. Um, to, here's a little clip. Uh. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid. And um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful. And and I'm probably going to be taking some time away, time off, to focus on... Um, Stupid fucking mistakes, man. Now, of course, a situation like this is going to cause a, a little bit of an outcry from the internet and his audience in particular. Uh, you know, some people pissed at him. Other people like, uh, whatever, you know. Some people probably go as far as trying to blame it on girls, too. You know how the fucking internet is. But uh, as a married man myself, when I see situations like this, I just get a little bummed out. Uh, because I like the idea of monogamy. I like the idea of marriage and, uh, you know, having someone to spend the rest of your life with to share your experiences with. I think that's a fantastic thing. And uh, not everyone feels that way, and I totally get it. If you, know, if you don't like the, the kind of the construct of marriage, the traditional family setup, you know, you new age, and you want to just go on Tinder and smash a million girls before you die, like, that's totally your choice. That's totally fine. Uh, but, you know, again, this is just anecdotally for me, the way I feel about it just bums me out because I see somebody like Dr. Disrespect, successful streamer, you know, he's making a killing online. Uh, he's something I would love to do is make a living online, obviously. He's got a beautiful wife, beautiful kid. Everything's going good. It looks great. And then you see this story and it's like, and you fucked it all up. I don't know if he fucked it all up. I mean, maybe he'll rectify with his family, but he's just, he, it, he may, it was a pretty, that's a pretty, it's a pretty big fuck up to, to, you know, to betray the trust of your baby's mother for some cheap ass e-girl pussy at like a conference or something. I don't know the exact details, but I'm guessing that's probably what happened. He was probably away from home at uh, like a Twitch con or something. And obviously chicks there are going to be throwing them, themselves at him because he's a handsome dude. He's got a lot of online influence, bunch of money. He's pretty popular. So you got to have that fucking pussy shield out, man. If you're married, you got a kid, you got to bring the pussy shield. You know what I'm saying? You got to be deflecting bitches left and right, man. I don't know. That's the way I feel, at least. And I'm not soapboxing by any means, man. You know, I, I understand. Like, I'm not... No man, no woman is above the temptation of infidelity or above the temptation of doing something that could potentially ruin your relationship or your marriage. I get that. Nobody's above that. I just think it's, uh, I just think it's a shit situation, and I'm sad it happened. I, I wish the best for him. Honestly, I, I do. I feel bad for the guy. I can't imagine what that feels like. And uh, especially someone that's like in the limelight, you you know, you're every single day you're broadcasting to thousands, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people know who you are. So it only amplifies your mistakes when you make a fuck up like this. Now you have to answer to your fans. You have to answer to your haters. You have to answer to the Internet, the general popular opinion. 
you have to answer all that and it uh, it probably exacerbates the situation and makes it even harder to deal with I would have to imagine so that's my basic feeling about the situation you know I know I like to make a lot of jokes I, I take the piss out of people and I make you know I make a lot of sexual innuendos in my videos a lot of my jokes are sexually charged it's just part of my style of humor but behind all of that is just a dude that wants to like be a good husband and someday a good father and you know build a life that i'm proud of right and that's different for everybody for me that's having a family and a partner that trusts me completely and vice versa and you know i think there's a little bit of confirmation bias when i see someone like dr disrespect or someone i look up to is like an online entertainer which is potentially what i would love to make a living from you know youtube I see people doing it well that have families and kids kind of like in a position that I'd like to be in down the road and there's that confirmation bias where I'm like all right well they're killing it fucking he's crushing the game that means I can do it too right and then he comes out and he's like uh I fucked a girl at TwitchCon and ruined my marriage and now my child's not going to know what's going on. But it's just, it's a bummer for me because I'm like, ah, dude, come on, come on, dude. And listen, I don't pretend to know the behind the scenes of their relationship. I don't think anyone can pretend to know that. And that goes for any, uh, you, know, you know, online personality or online relationship. People think they know what's going on, but you really don't. You're only seeing what people want you to see in the videos and the shit they put out. So, you know, you can't make excuses for anyone, but I just I just think it's a bummer. He's clearly all fucked up about it, crying in the video. I'm sure he feels quite a bit of remorse, but listen, actions have consequences, man, and that's all there is to it. And uh, I, hope he, I hope he can work it out and he gets back to streaming because he's really fucking good at it. But uh, just a bummer. But uh, moving on to, to Boogie2988. Boogie 988 minus the two G's uh, in his divorce. This is just shifting gears kind of in the same wheelhouse, though. Uh, and this is more like people that, uh, you know, are, live public lives, people that live their lives online like Boogie does. Now, one of the reasons why this story I relate to a little bit, because Boogie's the same thing. He's an online entertainer. He makes videos in his office. He makes a living from it. He's married. He's been married for a long time. Uh, but his wife doesn't really play a prominent role in his channel. You know, that's a personal choice because uh, I, I see these online relationships just crumbling all over the place. It's like every fucking favorite YouTuber couple you've ever had in the last eight or nine years probably shit the bed. Now, I say that jokingly, of course, because, yeah, of course, there's going to be people that are, have successful, healthy relationships, marriages, whatever, and their online personalities, but you never see headlines like that. Nobody's clicking the headline that says, YouTuber faithful to his wife for 25 years. Now, people want carnage, man. People want destruction, home wrecking. People feed off that shit like piranhas on the internet, just chewing up that fucking, those headlines. Every day, uh, celebrity relationships are like an entire genre of entertainment. It's fucking crazy. And, and YouTube is no different. YouTube relationships and shit like that. So with Boogie, again, someone I can relate to. He's married. He has a wife that he doesn't really feature on his channel very much, as far as I know. Which, if you watch me, you kind of understand. I, I, I kind of do my channel. I run my channel the same way. It's not to say I won't involve my wife later. But, uh... I see someone like that, and I'm like, oh, that's great. He's making a living as a YouTuber. He's got a wife. He's happy, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, ah, it didn't work out. Getting divorced. And that's fine. You know, nobody, again, knows what's going on behind the scenes with Boogie. Every relationship is so different. It's such a case-by-case -case basis. And I think there are times when relationships are very unhealthy and people aren't meant to be with each other. Maybe they got married because they thought that was going to fix the underlying problems that they had. But then they got married and realized, oh, shit. Marriage doesn't all of a sudden fix your problems and now you're kind of stuck in this relationship eventually and you have to do something about that. But uh, I wish the best for the big guy. You know, I think it's pretty cool that he's lost all this weight. Uh, I don't know. I just I feel like I spend so much time talking shit about like Instagram comedians. I just want to see people doing well, man. I hope Dr. Disrespect fucking gets back on his feet and i hope boogie uh you know moves on and hopefully this was probably the best move for both of them seems like it's been pretty amicable and i hope he uh i hope he moves on and and, and finds somebody else maybe that's uh, a better fit for his new 
slender man meat. <laughs> so before we wrap up, just want to touch on Keemstar's take on the situation. Boogie is getting a divorce. Dr. Disrespect cheated on his wife. Never get married. Never. Don't be stupid. Unless you a girl, then make him put a ring on it. <laughs> I think he's half joking, half serious. I think I've seen some tweets from him before that uh, solidify his stance as anti-marriage, but it gets complicated when you're someone like him and you have a lot of money, you're talking prenups, that adds a whole nother layer to marriage that, that, that gets complex. But the reason I made this video is just because I wanted to give my two cents on the situation. You know, I see stuff like this and uh, you feel a little bit of letdown, right? For me, at least, personally, I want to see people happy uh, and in relationships that uh, are, are healthy and last. But that's not always realistic, and I understand that. And I'm certainly not a guru or trying to hand out life advice to people, but uh, I had a really good example growing up. My parents were wonderful, and they're, you know, happily married 50-something odd years. Just incredible people, so I feel very blessed in that sense to have had that modeled to me, which is probably where most of my values come from and why I put such a strong, why I put such a great amount of importance on family life, because that's how I was raised and that's what I was modeled. So that's pretty much my take. Uh, anyways, listen, if you want to be Dan Blazerian, you want to drive around the world on yachts, banging supermodels every other day, uh, that's totally fine, man. If that's the lifestyle you like and that finds fulfillment for you, that's great. I, I tend to think, for me, I think that would leave me a little bit empty inside, not really forming any real connections with anyone. Sure, it looks fun on the surface, but anyways, uh, but if you want to go the other route and find a partner and get married and uh, try and share life together, it's going to take a lot of hard work, man. Relationships, marriages, they're hard work. That's not new news. It takes a lot of sacrifice, a lot of selflessness, and a lot of putting someone else's needs before your own. And sure, people might say, oh, well, that's a quick way to get taken advantage of. I just think that's a fucked up way of thinking. I mean, yeah, you're always going to... If you think like that, I don't know. So, guys, I wish you all the best. Uh, if you could do me a favor and just take that like button to Pound Town if you uh, occasionally enjoy a little bit more of a serious toned upload. Uh, and if you didn't enjoy it, then <laughs> I don't really care. But we'll see you in the next video, and I appreciate you all very much. Take care.